jatketaan tätä peliä. Jos katselette tätä YouTubesta, niin muistakaa tykätä, jos tykkäätte tällaista sisällöstä. Muuten YouTube-algoritmi unohtaa mun olemassaolon ihan täysin. Ja kukaan mukaan ei löydä näitä niissä tapauksissa. Ja tämmöiseen paikkaan päätynyt. Now look at that. If it isn't the holy prophetess. What what, what are you doing here? <laughs> Looking for some some fun? Hey, but, but we, we were just getting started. You you are way too serious sometimes, <laughs> you know that? There are times when you just have to indulge. Ah. Mm. I am enjoying myself. You should try that for a change, you know. Who knows how much time there's left for that? What are you doing here anyway? Ah, right. Talking. <laughs> Talking is good. Or is it? I forgot. Maybe I can't. Yeah. Or maybe I don't give a fuck about Adila. Maybe I don't give a fuck about any of you. And I'm just waiting for the right moment to stab you all in the back. Who knows? That's the great thing about life. You can never tell exactly which way the wind blows. Oh, I'm not. What if what you're seeing here is my true self? Hmm? And if it was, would you still bother pretending to care? <laughs> nah, you wouldn't. I think if you really knew me, you'd have been long gone. Hmm. You just don't want to get it, do you? Let me think how I can make myself more clear. Three words. I don't care. I don't care where my jobs come from and what I have to do as long as I'm getting paid. I don't care if the beggar in the front of the tavern eats his own shit as long as I can enjoy my beer inside. And I don't care if people who think they're important to me kick the fucking bucket because I just don't care. Adila's dead. In, in Fuck it. At least that means there's no one around anymore who knows what I really am. <sighs> Lucia. She. She was the first one. I took what I wanted from her, and when it got too tiresome, I just left her behind. Like all the others, before and after her. Those goddamn high ones. When those thugs killed our family, she was so hurt, so lost, you know? But do you think I did anything to help her? All I cared about was myself. She what she did, did, what she became, that didn't just happen overnight. I always felt that something was wrong with her, how she kept on withdrawing from the outside world, reading all these stupid books my father always read. But I never went to see her. I never wrote her. And you know why? Not because there wasn't time for it. Not because I couldn't cope with it myself. I didn't because I couldn't be bothered. Couldn't bother with her moodiness. Didn't bother with all the drama. I just couldn't care less. Just as I didn't give a fuck about Lysia. We were on a mission in Golden Forest, and had just set up camp for the night. That was a couple of nights after we realized that we had different expectations, so to speak. I went to get firewood, and when I came back, 
There were half a dozen bandits in the camp. Lysia was out cold. She was still alive. I saw it. She was alive, but I just ran. I just turned around and fucking ran. I don't know. I never went back. Never. Does it matter? I didn't even consider fighting, not for a moment. Why? Because I never gave a shit about people, even if they were deluded enough to think otherwise. It's just like Adila said, my life revolves around one thing, and that is me. Jaspar, the navel of the fucking universe. A lot of things are human. That doesn't make them better. Do you think it was any different with us? I saw you and felt there'd be money in helping you. And if that Korak had offered me my life against yours, do you think I would even think twice? You think we're friends, or whatever, but we aren't. If that's what you want to believe, go ahead. You think I'm something that I'm not. Something I never was. I'm a sellsword, not one of the good guys. And you think that you know me, but you don't. Adila and Lysia, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, please, just go, okay? I need to get away from here. From this city, from these people, from, from everything. Teleportaatiokäärät on sille käteviä niinku. Kyllä tuosta vasemmalle sitten apoteekkari löytää jostain sieltä. <tos> Tää on sopivan sokkeloinen paikka. Could someone working for the Order bring down to a place like this and risk spoiling his fine garments? A black stone? No idea what you're talking about. Now, is there something else? If not, leave. Time is sparse these days. Thank the sun. There you are. No, I've been looking for you. I followed you. It's about your mission. I know that the Grandmaster ordered you to find the Black Stones. And I believe I know where to find the one you were looking for down here. Hmm. Far away from here. And I can show you where. The only thing I ask of you is that no one must know about my part in this. Promise me that, and I'll tell you what I know. Thanks. Believe me, I don't like this any more than you do. Come, follow me. I remember coming here as a child. The apothecary gave me something to eat before setting me on the streets again. All that, it seems so distant now. It's easy to forget about the other side of the coin once you haven't seen it for a while. All right, this is better. Have you ever heard the name Dalgalar? No. Healer of the poor. Yes, that's what some people called him. It doesn't do him justice, though. Dalgalar helped everyone regardless of his wealth. 
The only difference was that he had the rich people pay for their treatment. Do you also remember why he left Ark? Yes. For him, the end justified the means. For example, it is said that he once healed a crippled soldier by replacing his lost leg. The League considered such practices pathless, but Dalgalar refused to give in, and that is how they came to blows. Finally, Dalgalar left Ark and moved into a remote old castle in the Frostcliff Mountains. Okay, that's the Mulan Gold. True, but people fear what they don't know. It has always been like that. I guess you know the rest of the story. He became more and more reclusive until one day, he locked the gates and was never heard from again. The apothecaries say that it was his eccentricity which was to blame, but I think there is more to it than that. I know it did. I recently read the notes of one of the few apprentices he permitted to come with him. And this is where it gets interesting. Dalgalar researched something he only referred to as the Angel. No one but him was allowed to take part in its creation, and he hired dozens of mercenaries to get him the resources he needed for his experiments. Books, relics, rare herbs, things like that. Hmm. And one of those relics was a small dark stone, shining like the skin of an eel. Hmm. Yes. What do you think, Saira? That does sound like a lead, doesn't it? I was waiting for that question. All right then, I might as well come clean. I am interested in all this because there is a rumor as to what the angel was supposed to be. A talisman, one that allows its bearer to heal any disease in the world, even flesh maggots, the yellow fever, or the black death, all of them. And I want to find this angel, Saira. Isn't it obvious? Because I want to be healed. Yes, if there's even just a sliver of a chance that this device, whatever it is, can help me, I have to take it. And that is also why the Order must not know about any of this. They would confiscate the artifact before I could use it for myself. And what am I supposed to tell them if they ask me why I need it? I can't allow anyone to learn the truth about me, not until I've dealt with it. <sighs> now enough about my motivations, Saira. Let us plan how we are going to proceed. Yes. I found us a map that should point the way from the Frostcliff Tavern. Go prepare yourself. I will meet you there. And thank you for helping me. I know I might not show it that much, but I appreciate your... uh... friendship. I really do. Huh. Oh, we're at the risk of bl Now, what makes you think that you- Oh, now that sounds promising. Exactly how much do you reckon my- Hmm, I think I'm in the mood for a stroll. Just don't- And hey, don't get any stupid ideas about swiping anything. Alright? Oh, grand. Yet another proof of the notorious reliability <laughs> of cell swords. Oh, but that's I should have known that simpleton was only good for peeling potatoes at best. <laughs> so, what is it that you want? To mug me? I would seriously think that over, considering my esteemed bodyguard over there. He belongs to the petrified, and I'm sure he would love to demonstrate just what that means. <laughs> oh, do you now? <laughs> you really are a bold one, aren't you? Uh, but good, go ahead. Tell me what you consider to be so important that you just had to sneak into my house without my invitation. What? No, you're mistaken. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now get out of here. I don't give a shit about your sources. Now get lost, preferably to the brothel you escaped from, wench. Kashan, show my guest the way out.
What the hell? I, I've no idea how you got in here, but I swear that you're about to see me get real angry. What? All right, then. Here's what's going to happen next. You either give me that piece of paper right now, or I will order Kashan to do it for you. And I promise you, that will be a painful process. Your employer? Pa, you're bluffing. I could kill you right here, and no one would ever notice that you've gone missing. You. <laughs> All right, then. If your life depends on it. So, what do you want? If this was about doing damage to me, you wouldn't have come back with a certificate. So here's the deal. I'll tell you what you want to know, and you'll give me back the paper and keep this matter about... About your <laughs> child. Okay, so about it. And one thing in advance. Try to double-cross me, and you will regret it. I promise. As I expected. All right, then. So, yes, it is true that I once owned the stone, but it is also true that I no longer do. That thing whose birth that piece of paper in your hand proves owns it now, if it is still alive, that is. Don't call it that. That creature doesn't deserve to bear the family name. But yes, he has it, if anyone does. I fear I have to go back in time a little. Seven years ago, with my old wench, I... She got pregnant. At first I thought it was a gift of fate. But when the child came, it was an atrocity, a joke of nature. Everything but a worthy successor for our house. <laughs> Malformed. Oh, that would be the understatement of the century. It had these tumors all over its face and its left leg was a clump the apothecary said it was a wonder that it even survived the birth i gave him away and please save yourself the indignation you wouldn't understand my decision if i tried to explain it to you well what do you think she sure wasn't happy about it but it was the right thing to do, and if a man makes a choice, the wench has to accept it. Deal, come in, She's gone, anyway. Syphilis took her to a small village where no one from Ark would ever see him, or at least where no one could trace him back to me. Oh, please, spare me that speech. Do you think that creature would have had a good life here? Just go take a look at all those cripples and sick in the Undercity. What future is there for them? They are the refuse of nature, and that is how they are treated. No. The only future that thing would have had would have been as an attraction in a traveling circus. I probably should have just put it out of its misery right away. Shame that I let my wife sweet talk me into doing otherwise. They will cut the my wench. She stole it from the treasury and put it into one of his pockets. She probably thought it was a common jewel of some sort and that it would help whomever he ended up with to take pity on him. But truth be told, I didn't mind too much when I found out. Buying the black stone in the first place was one of the biggest follies my father ever committed. I don't put much stock in superstition and folk tales. But everyone knows something is wrong with those things. Anyway, since you will probably ask, as far as I know, the village where they took it is called Silver Grove. If the stone still exists, you should find it there. Now, give me the parchment and get lost. I kept my end of the bargain. I'll think about it. Now, get out. Tämä on neljä, neljä tähteä tämän vaikeusasteen ja sitten toi 
pohjoisessa oleva juttu on kolme, kolme tähteä vaan. Watch yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. So, learned anything useful? <laughs> Interesting. And you're right. The guy over there really does look strange. Anyway, let's go. Well, that's just how he is. Hmm. Always. Until that quark appeared, I actually thought things were going relatively well, like with the sigil stone and this beacon. Nipa. But a war with Nareem. That changes everything. They trump us in every aspect. Manpower, equipment, siege machinery. Let's just hope the walls of Ark are really as durable as they're said to be. Work, work, work. Mm. <sighs> Cold. Well then, the castle is about two miles north of here. We shouldn't have any problems if we stay on the road. I suggest you go on ahead. I'll cover your back. Rosvoja vaan lähettyvillä. Ja tämmönen ihastuttava varoitus. Onko se nyt sittenkin niinku sivulle tästä? Saira, that is not the right way. Just don't take too long, all right? I'll wait here. Yeah, okay. Nitali on oikee polku. Siksi voisi niinku sudet hoidella. Careful. No. Focus, come here. Focus. Man, that the the clip the clip it torrio. That's why I'm not trying to learn. No, it means it. It torrio. I can't get. Silver steel. Oh. Wait. Tämä olikin itse asiassa nyt nyt meni ihan hyvin. Puskaan tipahti se yks. Puh... 
pus, puskan, puskan etsintä simulaattori. Jaa. Me löytää novisien ruumiit. Okei, tää on jonkinlainen et etäasema ollut. Tää on ihan ok, mutta se on kahden kerran piakka. search their bodies. Anything? Oh, of course, I heard about that. The Order wanted the ore for the beacon. Poor people. This bastard must have taken them by surprise. Let's take a look into that mine, Saira. Our expedition into the castle will just have to wait. Aha, me joudutaan vähän eri eri suuntaan menemään. Tulee perässäni. Okei okay, se resistoi. Niin se on tietysti itse tulta. Locked, as expected. Yes. Sir. Yes, but how? Hmm. Black powder might do the trick, if we had any. You have what? You're jesting, right? 
Kirash. Tyyppi on tulee se sellainen musta ruutu ja mukana. can fit in these little pockets. <laughs> But that's not enough, I'm afraid. I would guess we'll need at least eight barrels. Let me think. Northwind was a prospector's village after all, and I think I saw some kind of trap door down there near the mine's entrance. With luck, that could be a storage area. I suggest you take a look at it. I'll start digging the gate free in the meantime. Tiedän, joo, eli Fasmalisti löytää sieluja noista. Pystyis keräämään. No, mä otan nää mukaan, jos ei tarvittu. Jaha. Tervetuloa linnaa. Mitä? Oh. Breathe. Just breathe. Sorry, this this was unexpected. But I guess that answers the question of what happened to Zalgalar's servants. Poor sods. Ah. Yes, I I wasn't prepared, that's all. But I've got it under control. Don't worry, I promise. Melkoinen tahdonvoima, jos sai taltutettua vaan sen demoni yhtäkkiä. And a powerful artifact befouled by the high ones. That's not too far fetched, wouldn't you agree? We won't be able to get in through the main gate, but there has to be a side entrance. Come on, let's take a look around. No joo. Huonot palvelusuhde edut kyllä näillä. Pitää olla päässä. Noi. Hyvä malli muuten. Aika tyylikäs muodeli. Moo, sellainen spastio. Käännyn ympäri, niin siinä on Ei, joku tosi hyvä. Looks good if you ask me, but it's locked, isn't it? Ah, uh, who would have guessed that? We should start with the corpses, I think. There has. There has to be someone. What about Brother Yarber? Declined, just like the others. If you would maybe just explain to them what we need those bodies for, they might. Declined. I would not justify myself to those fools. If they only had a trifle of decency, they would see the debt they are in. But, as they wish, there are other ways. Tell the other servants that I do not want to be disturbed for the rest of the evening. And bring me new salve. The salve? Of course, Master. Not blessed. To be someone with a key. Um, are you alright, Saira? Wait. You mean in a vision? But how? I thought everything you see comes from the Pyrean age. Hmm. 
Hmm. That would explain why he hired so many hunters from the village. But what did he need all those cadavers for? The angel? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go search those bodies for a key. Wait. D do you hear that? Kirash. Ainoastaan on lievästi kiro kirottu paikka. Your vision must have caused this. We should be prepared for resistance now. Come on, let's find that key. I don't want to have to look at this. Hmm, ton visio olis aiheuttanut ton mielenkiintoinen ajatus. Any longer than necessary. Do you have it? Then let's go in. Good. Let's see if we can get through the main hall somehow. Then we'll see. Okay, Galia at the bottom. En päässyt taaksepäin, olin nurkas. Good. Let's see if we can get through the main hall somehow. Then we'll see.
Mikään laukaisee noitte animoitumisen. Enemies, get ready. Väärä kohde oli vähän. Sitten milläs mä pystyin... Shield, hey, you're safe. Tääkään juomilla. Eli se, niin sanotusti se... That was all of them. Let's look around. Epä, epätoivoisen, epätoivoisen valinta. Is there a reason why you're hiding, Yuliko? Forgive me, Master. I wanted to talk to you. Of course you do. What's on your mind? I... Forgive my words, but I find certain recent developments disquieting. Do you? You've changed, Master. Every day the villagers bring their sick to our gates, but you forbid us to let them in. Instead, you spend every minute with this... with this girl. And the Black Stone. Haven't you uh -huh. heard the tales? The stones are cursed. Master, you really should... Go and pack your things, Yulika. What? Master, I am just worried about you. I know, and I thank you for it. Now go. Your apprenticeship is over. But... Go! Wait. Scientia Sinestra by Ibn Nadarim. Hmm. That was a Kyranian arcanist of the Zimnodza. Getting caught with one of these books is essentially a crime here in Anderal. Seems that Dal Galar needed more than just alchemy and light magic for his angel. Ilmeisesti jotkut uskoo, että nekromantia kor korvaa kaiken.
mikä voisi mennä vikaan. Muuta kuin kaikki. surprised he and the league had their differences. What the? That's not a laboratory, that's a crypt. Ehkä sillä ei ole hirveästi niinku eroa tällä tyypillä, niin onko se krypto vai... Nyt tulee kyllä liikaa näitä juomia. Now we know that he didn't just stick to animals, but what is this fluid they're floating in? Hmm, I see. Do you see that? A crystal. But it's so dull. As if... Well, it's energy. Energy is life. And energy is death. A trifle less. Not too much less. Just a little. Don't disappoint me. Not this time. been drawn from it. Maybe that was some kind of experiment for what he planned to do with the Black Stone? What? But to what end? If this device were some kind of prototype for the Angel, what did he hope to use it for? This only gets more confusing. Come, let us look for the second code word. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Show me. Hmm. So Dalgalar had a daughter. And this Tainisha must have been his companion? His paramour? Yes, but why the heck would cold mountain air be good for a sick child? That's nonsense. He could have just stayed in Ark with his companion. Hmm. At least now we have another candidate for the code words. Tainisha. I doubt we'll find anything else here. What do you say, Zaira? Shall I go back to the main hall? Good. Come on. Sama kirja kaksi kappalat. The barrier. That looks like Starlingcraft to me. Without... Without the device in the correct order, it is impossible to banish the barrier, correct? Huh. Yes, my son. And no one apart from us knows the letter. I see. 
that I owe you my thanks. We should make a toast. To your Matralian brandy? I, um... I must confess that I am no friend to alcohol, but... Thank you nonetheless. Hmm. Oh, oh to play just with it. What are we drinking to? Our collaboration? To our collaboration. At a world free of suffering. To our collaboration, and a world free of suffering. Marvelous, really. Between us, Miza, why the barrier? What do you have up there that five arm wides of north wind stone aren't enough for you? Something that's very dear to me, and very fragile. Um... I see. Well, then I can assure you that. Oh, blistery blazes. No, How tired no, I suddenly no. am. All that work, it, it must have gone to my head. Yes, my sir. You should rest. And forgive me. I will take care of your family. You have my word on that. What, what do you mean? I just have to... <laughs> the... Yeah. I am sorry. Knowing how it works, we'll have a hard time getting through here. What? You had another vision. Poisoned? Why? Hmm. Yes, probably, but... Killing someone just because of that? I thought better of him, really. This must have something to do with the angel, however. Question is, how do we get through here? We don't have that device, whatever it is, and I don't think Dalgalar left the code just laying around somewhere if he was willing to kill someone over it. Let's take a look around. There must be another way. Maybe we could kill the mechanism that runs the barrier with force? But... Hmm, wait. Yes, that could work. I snatched a bag of black powder earlier when we carried the barrels up to the gate. I thought it might come in handy. Here, Magistro Jaela gave me this scroll not too long ago. You could use it to throw the pouch through the breach. And a fire arrow will take care of the rest. the fire doesn't spread. Now let's go see what Dalgalar wanted to hide so badly. Perfect. Let's hope the fire doesn't spread. Now let's go see what Dalgalar wanted to hide so badly. substance everywhere. Huh. This must have been his daughter's room. Let's take a look around. Are you watching?
Look around, Saira. We need to find a clue as to what this code might be. The rabbit begged, No, please don't eat me. The Vatir eyed him and sneered. Why wouldn't I? You are weak, and I am strong. His voice was coarse like a whisper tree's bark, and... You don't like this story, do you? <sighs> of course not. You didn't like it when Mother read it to you, either. But do you want to know something, my little starlet? Soon, you'll be warm again. And then there will be no more need for stories. Because you will be able to go out yourself and explore this world on your own two feet. I promise you. Huh. The girl was dead, Sierra. She was dead. There, Delgalar's acquisitions. I said, now guess what else apart from animal bodies he bought heaps of? Dew flowers, lavender, and shadow stem oil. These are the ingredients for the ointments the Kileans use to embalm their dead. As long as it is regularly applied, the process of decay doesn't begin. The Kileans use it to keep a body fresh before sending it to sea, but this... Dalgalar bought enough of these ingredients to prepare funeral balm for five dozen corpses. And didn't you tell me he ordered his apprentice to get him his salve? Dalgalar's daughter wasn't ill when he brought her here, Saira. She was dead. And he used this balm to preserve her like a piece of salted meat. This is... This is horrible. Yes, he wouldn't accept her death and thus lied to his wife. And this device we saw in his laboratory must have been how he intended to resurrect her. But now it all makes sense. This must be the true reason for Dalgalar's work on this angel. He must have wanted to use it in order to revive his daughter. At least now we have a good candidate for the code word, Maya. Do you still want to stay here a little longer, or shall we go back to the main hall? Yes. Come. Good. Then let's try our luck with these sigils, shall we? You do it. We actually did it. Come on, let's see what's behind there. So, this is his sanctum. Unbelievable. Just look at all these books. I wonder how much knowledge is hidden here.
there. Iso palavale. Ovijaukko. Ja mistä tänne menee portaat? What the? Saira! Huh? Durual Minto Jarovis. He who is patient always finds a way. I was starting to worry that you two little birdies would never part. So it wasn't just my imagination. Yes, you have been followed. Thanks for opening the gates, by the way. That saved us a lot of effort. Quite the feat, I must admit. <laughs> Only that... <laughs> now look at that. You don't waste any time talking. Hmm, I like that. Then I'll return a favor. K Kirash, what is this? Let me go, you bastard! This, my little bird, is mentalism. Perfected. Because this time, someone was less willing to take risks and decided to send capable soldiers rather than those idiots from Old Ration Grad. Now don't look so grumpy, sweetheart. You're up next. And I promise we'll have just as much fun with you as we'll have with her. The king of the fabled empire of old Aranath, of course. Save yourself the stupid questions, dear. You won't get any answers. Take her, my friends. But careful, understood? I want her alive. I'll see to that. The stone, Sa'ira. Find the stone and then run. Just hold still, honey. You're only making it worse. No, get off me, damn it, get off me! Tulee aika paljon päällä. Just hold still, honey. Yeah. 
You're only making it worse. No! Get off me! Damn it! Get off me! No, Kirosh, please, you're making a mistake! Oh, for fuck's sake, Lambert, can't you just make her shut up? I want the nana. Finally. That was a mistake. I'm sure it was. And now, what the heck? All of them ran inside, but you just stood outside in the rain and... Uh, I should have been there for you more, Starlet. So much more. But I will make up for it, I swear. Tomorrow. 
I will heal you. Once you and the stone are connected, you will be able to walk again. And this time, I will be a good father. And that's just for a start. The stone will change you, Maya. It will become a part of you. And it will give you power even the light board can only dream of. The blind will see again if you so choose, and the mute will speak. You will succeed where I have failed, freeing mankind from all its misery. Like an angel. Yeah, um... Lujaa se lyö kyllä. Mulla oli mitään aika hyvin tota HPta jäljellä. Se vaan tuli jäljellä. No jää ihmettelemään ne. Okei, siinä on loppu. Tuohon ei... No kyllä 
ikävästi tota, syö terveyttä. No niin, tänne näin. Anomalia käy kippuu. Fuh. just tickle for a little, but not for long, I promise. Not too little, not too much. Tähän ei voi millään tavalla päättyä hyvin. I feel dizzy, Daddy. And where's Mommy? She... she is at home. You have been very ill, you know that? Very, very ill. But now... Maya, what... what's wrong? Näyttää vähän samalta kuin kaljan. What? Oh. Poor little creature. You don't have the slightest idea how special you are, do you? Tämä tuli paikalle. Kalia. Oh, bab. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I am? It changes nothing. Mm. Yeah, 
Who am I? The failed experiment of a broken man. I'm not sure if that insight was really what I needed. Of course, it helps me to understand the creature inside me. It's a black stone. And it was my father who fused it with my mind. But in the end, all I'm left with are more questions. For example, whether this means that I must bury my hopes for banishing that creature once and for all, or the question of what this veiled woman's role is in all this. It must have been she who set me out in that village, even though she knew of the Blackstone's essence within me and how dangerous it made me. She seems to be the same one you encountered on the ship where your friend died, and the one who made those bandits flee into Old Dothulgrad. Who is she? What are her intentions? I just don't understand, Saira. I don't understand. <sighs> Still, what burdens me the most is what happened in that library. Be thankful you weren't. If you knew how I felt when I killed those mercenaries, you would give me a wide berth, believe me. Such gratification. Such ecstasy. I am disgusting. Saira, if you had been there, I would have slaughtered you just like the others. And that... I know, Saira. Rationally, I do. But it doesn't change the fact that I feel... repulsive. I will train harder. Meditate more often. Until I control every single one of my thoughts. That is the only way I will ever be able to fully control it. Now go and take that stone to the temple, Saira. I need some time to myself. Well, that's just how he is. Always Joo. Tiukka meininki. Fascinating. Well, exactly what we thought would happen, I'd wager. The stone connected with the beacon. And what a connection it was. I've never seen such energy, let alone felt it. But be that as it may, half a chicken doesn't make a cake. We still need two more stones. Ah, Prophet. Good that you're here. Answers, I suppose. It's about the Neremese mage, Mishari. A tragic event. <laughs> no, but the Enterprise Char Rim had an idea. One that was so obvious that I wonder why I didn't think of it myself. The word of the dead. We could use it to... Ah. Oh. Correct. And I assume you can imagine why I am telling you this. Yes. You've already used the casket once, and you survived. That makes you the best candidate. What... What do you think? That's the answer I was hoping for. When can we start? Since Pegas' body, unlike the Pyrian, isn't preserved, we should lose as little time as possible. Who knows what the decay has already done to her memories. As you wish. Just tell me when you're ready. In the meantime, I will let Shah Rim know of our endeavor. Yes? Have you found any of the stones yet? Here you go looking for a stone and you simultaneously solve an Endralean mystery. Good work. I had read theories about what happened to the Count, but this is not what I had imagined. Hmm. I wonder what became of that girl. It seems as if a part of the stone's energy really was banished into her body. Just look at it, it's somehow duller than the others. But still, it should make a difference. At least all that suffering wasn't in vain. Let us insert the stone.
Jaha, ja missähän Kalia on? No joo, mielenkiintoinen kyllä. Mielenkiintoisia kä käännöksiä tässä pelissä ja haastavia taisteluita ja mu muuta mukavaa. Kyllä. Muistakaa, muistakaa tykätä YouTubessa, jos tykkäätte tällaista sisällöstä. Mutta nyt taitaa olla mullakin nukkumaan menoaika.